Tara reigned at an East Coast home for several minutes last night as bandits went on a rampage demanding cash and jewelry from the Narine family of Mount Rose Railway Line East Coast of Demerara. Shots were also fired during the 30 minute ordeal. Shamo Taxi Services based at the same location. One of Narine's children was forced to hide after she came face to face with one of the bandits who invaded the home. The young lady who was still shaken said the men held up her younger sister and taxi drivers at gunpoint as they made their demands. And they were looking for me. They were asking where I was and if I was going to call the police. And then they went and get my sister with a gun and she was asking who are you, who are you? And they pointed the gun at her. I was looking at it because I was hidden. And then they took her in the room with some of the drivers. And then a, a few minutes after, they were tumbling the house. And then I heard a car come, and I started to shout, bandit is in the house so that somebody can hear us. And then they were like, the girl is in the house, the girl is in the house, and they were looking for me. And then they start running all over the house. And then I hear daddy coming, and I scream for daddy and tell him bandit there, and the police and daddy helped me get out of the house. But they were still in the house when I came out. Shots were fired, right, in the house. Who did they shoot at? Well, like I said, I was hidden, and I was scared, so I hardly peeped outside. But they were shooting. Everybody was shooting, so I can't say exactly who was shooting at what points. So when we reach home, we hear the children squealing, tumbling in the house gunshot firing and then like five minutes after the police reach so after that we you know the police started to do their work at the time of the incident the businessman and his wife were out his wife babita said the men made off with four hundred thousand dollars in cash and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in jewelry she said she got a phone call from one of the taxi drivers stating that bandits were inside the building and she immediately alerted the police. She said they were quick in their response. I don't know exactly what happened because I was scared and I was out on the road. Because I was scared for my children because they was in the house. Well, they tumble up the house and take everything that they could find. According to Norain, the bandits gained access to the heavily grilled house from the lower flat. She explained that the door was open because the taxi service was still in operation. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.